Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will explain how to read temperature and humidity values in Microsoft Excel from an Arduino Uno and DHT11 sensor using serial communication with the data streamer add-ins. Let's get started. First, open Microsoft Excel, and then insert the data streamer add-ins by following these steps. Right-click on the File tab, then select Customize the ribbons, then choose Add-ins. In the Add-ins window, in Manage Options, select Com Add-ins. Click the Go button. This will bring up the COM add-ins window. Check the box next to Microsoft Data Streamer for Excel, and then click OK. Wait for Data Streamer to appear in the Excel ribbon at the top. This is the Data Streamer ribbon, that we will use to read data from Arduino using serial communication. There are several functions available, including Connect Device, Start, and Stop Data Collection, and Record the Results of Data Streaming. This is the wiring for the Arduino Uno with a DHT11 sensor. Then, the Arduino is connected to the computer using a serial cable. This is a simple Arduino code to read the temperature and humidity values from a DHT11 sensor, and then display these values on the serial monitor. After uploading the code to the Arduino, you can view the serial output using the serial monitor. You will see the output format as follows. Humidity equals, humidity value, percent temperature equals, temperature value degree Celsius. Back to the Excel file, in the data streamer ribbon, Select Connect a device, and choose the device connected via serial. Several new sheets will appear. On the Sheet Data in you can view the serial data incoming from the Arduino device by clicking Start Data. We can see that the obtained format is a string format, as per the output we configured in the Arduino program. We aim to receive data in a numerical format for temperature and humidity values. Moreover, we want to place these values into separate channels. Therefore, we need to modify the Arduino code to ensure that temperature and humidity data sent via serial communication can be separated into channel 1 and channel 2. Back to the Arduino code, we will change the serial output format as follows. First, display the humidity value, separated by a comma, and then the temperature value. Finally, terminate it with a line break. So, the output will be humidity value, comma, then temperature value. After uploading the code, we can view the serial output through the serial monitor. The output format consists of humidity value, followed by a comma, and then the temperature value. This way, when it's read by the data streamer, it will be separated into channel 1 and channel 2. Back to the Excel file, in the data streamer, connect the device, and then click Reset Data to clear the previous data. Then, click Start Data to begin streaming data from the serial. You can see that the received data is already separated into Channel 1 for humidity values, and Channel 2 for temperature values. 
In the historical data section, default number of stored data points to be the last 15 values. You can adjust this setting in the settings sheet. Since I'm using only two channels, I've updated the data channels to two in the settings sheet, and the data in sheet will adjust its configuration accordingly. Next, I change the label for channel 1 to humidity and channel 2 to temperature. I will create a line chart to visualize the changes in the values in the historical data table, allowing us to see real-time updates on the chart. Now we can observe the changes in temperature and humidity values on the line chart. Since in the Arduino code, the serial output is sent every two seconds, you can notice that the data in the time column is acquired every two seconds. In the data streamer, you can also record the received data. Simply click record data, and the incoming data will start to be recorded. To stop recording data, click stop recording, and the recorded data will be saved in a CSV file. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, and share this video. And, of course, subscribe to this channel. Because subscribing is free. See you in the next video.